हेलो लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर रेखा शर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर यू जी सी ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट सेंटर राष्ट्रसंत तुकड़ोजी महाराज नागपुर यूनिवर्सिटी नागपुर इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल स्टडी प्रोबायोटिक्स प्रीबायोटिक्स सिनबायोटिक्स एंड पोस्ट बायोटिक्स ह्यूमन्स आर अ यूनिक रिजर्वॉयर ऑफ हेट्रोजिनस एंड विकेसियस ग्रुप ऑफ माइक्रोब्स विच टुगेदर फॉर्म्स द ह्यूमन माइक्रोबायोम सुपर ऑर्गेनिजम्स ह्यूमन गट सर्व्स एज अ होम टू ओवर हंड्रेड टू वन थाउजेंड माइक्रोबियल स्पीसीज विच प्राइमरीली मॉड्यूलेट द होस्ट इंटरनल एनवायरमेंट एंड देयर बाय प्ले अ मेजर रोल इन होस्ट हेल्थ दिस स्पेक्टैकुलर सिम्बायोटिक रिलेशनशिप हैज अट्रैक्टेड एक्सटेंसिव रिसर्च इन दिस फील्ड सप्लीमेंटेशन with probiotics prebiotics and synbiotics has shown promising results against various diseases against various enteric pathogens due to their unique ability to compete with pathogenic microbiota for adhesion sites to eliminate pathogens or to stimulate modulate and regulate the host's immune response by initiating the activation of specific genes in and outside the host intestinal tract dear learners the course on functional foods and nutraceutical has two separate units on probiotics and prebiotics which you will be studying later on but this module will give you an overall insight into prebiotics and probiotics we shall also study very related terms such as synbiotics and postbiotics in this module dear learners let us first start with introduction to probiotics we shall study what are they and how do they work we shall also study what is gut microbiota the word probiotic is derived from greek words pro and biotas and translated as for life according to the food and agriculture organization of the united nations and the world health organization probiotics are defined as live microbial cultures of a single strain or mixture of different strains that beneficially affect the host animal either directly or indirectly by improving its intestinal microbial balance in the early 1990s nobel laureate eli machinov observed exceptionally long healthy living among bulgarians who regularly consumed sad or fermented dairy products in the late 19th century microbiologist identified microflora in the gastrointestinal tracts of healthy individuals that differed from those found in diseased individuals these beneficial microflora found in the gastrointestinal tract were termed probiotics which exert health promoting influences in humans and animals the most common genera that have been used and possess probiotic characteristics are the lactic acid bacteria bifidobacterium and lactobacillus now let us see what is gut microbiota let us now first study the microbiota of the human gastrointestinal tract which plays an important role in host health the human gastrointestinal tract contains trillions of microorganisms consisting of up to 1000 or more different bacterial species collectively known as gut microbiota the levels and diversity of the microbial community within the gastrointestinal tract differ according to the location and substrate availability due to the high level of acidity the stomach mucosa contains few microorganisms which requires a more acid tolerant organisms 
which have been estimated to contain 10 raised to 3 colony forming units CFU per gram of stomach content and 10 raised to 4 to 10 raised to 7 in the small intestine and 10 raised to 10 to 10 raised to 12 in the large intestine where the microbial numbers are highest. The distal large intestine is the area of highest colonization with more than 500 different species with some estimating suggesting up to 1000 species with potentially up to 100 billion microbial inhabitants. The microbes residing in gut depends upon a supply of the fermentable substrate for their growth and their activities. Any foodstuff that resists digestion in the upper gastrointestinal tract that is in stomach and small intestine serve as food for resident microbiota of colon which include resistant starch, plant cell wall, polysaccharides and host mucopolysaccharides together with various proteins, peptides and low molecular weight carbohydrates. Through the process of fermentation, gut bacteria metabolize these substrates to form end products such as short chain fatty acids, SCFA and gases, majority of which are absorbed into the bloodstream. Right colon is an area of rapid bacterial growth, low pH ranging between 5 to 6 and rapid generation of short chain fatty acid as a result of carbohydrate fermentation. The left side of colon has less carbohydrate fermentation and the pH is less acetic and it is associated with an increase in proteolysis which has been linked to production of harmful nitrogenous products such as ammonia, amines and phenolic compounds. Some members of the gut microbiota also produce vitamins such as folate, biotin and vitamin K2. Usually the human host lives in harmony with the complex gut microbiota. However, under certain circumstances like antimicrobial intake, stress, poor diet and living conditions, the microflora balance may be upset. Moreover, the normal fermentative process may produce undesirable metabolites like ammonia, phenolic compounds, toxins, etc. The gut flora is also susceptible to contamination from transient pathogens which further upset the normal community structure and result into gut disorder. The colonic microbiota is susceptible to manage through dietary mechanisms that target specific bacterial groups. One much used approach is probiotic foods or probiotics that harbor the members of normal gut microbiota. Most probiotics fall into the groups of organisms known as lactic acid producing bacteria and are normally consumed in the form of yogurt, fermented milk or other fermented foods. A selectively list of different bacterial genera that are actively used as probiotics is listed here. First is lactobacillus, second is propionibacterium, third is peptostreptococcus, fourth is bacillus, fifth is lactococcus, sixth is enterococcus, seventh is pediococcus, eighth is streptococcus, ninth is bifidobacterium, tenth is bacteriocytes, eleventh is achermansia and twelfth is saccharomyces. We have seen the brief account of probiotics. We shall be further studying probiotics in next unit in greater detail under the following heads that is taxonomy and important features of probiotic microorganisms, 
health effects of probiotics including mechanism of action, probiotics in various foods, fermented milk products, non-milk products and quality assurance of probiotics and safety.